of at least two weeks for that to happen. Question number nine, Jacinda Ardern. Mr Speaker, my question to the Minister for Social Development. Does she stand by her statements that, quote, the billion dollars is not just about the young people, those savings are also coming from those on other benefits. We certainly have got projections that we believe we'll be making savings over the next four years. The Honourable Paula Mr. Bennett. Mr Speaker, yes. Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. How much will her first round of welfare reform cost over four years as per the budget documents? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, at this stage we're projecting $287 million costs over four years for Bill No. 1 on the youth and the changes to uh, welfare, uh, sorry, to DPB. Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. How much will her first round of welfare reforms save over four years, and what evidence is there to support these projected savings? The uh, Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, there's been a number of forecasts that have been done. The most recent ones from uh, Treasury who have taken a very conservative approach and also are not looking at the behavioural uh, changes, which is quite significant, we believe. Um, so they are projecting at the moment $135 million. Um, I actually don't believe that's true. I think it'll be a bit more than that. But they're taking a very conservative approach. Jacinda Ardern. Um, Question to the Minister. Does she concede that her welfare reforms will cost more than they will save, based on Treasury's projections? Uh, Mr Bennett. Speaker, no. We've always said that Bill Number 2 is actually one that has got the most substantial savings and the biggest changes. Uh, the member will see that coming along later this year. Um, that is going to be a lot of work that is actually going to see the significant changes and savings coming through. Jacinda Ardern. To the Minister. Does she have any capacity to fund phase two of her welfare reforms, given budget documents show MSD struggled to fill a $700 million budget shortfall this year and stated that, quote, the estimated costs of fa phase two are even more uncertain than phase one. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm delighted that the member's waking up that these are tough times. And yes, the department has struggled to find the department has struggled to find seven hundred million dollars in projected costs from within the department. But we did. But we did. And that has been hard work. We will find the savings that are needed for Bill number two because we fundamentally believe that they will make a difference for New Zealanders and their lives and their outcomes. Uh, and that's what we're working towards. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallon. Uh, Mr Speaker, you've been coaching members in this House to attempt to ask straight questions, and the deal has always been that the initial parts of the answers at least would also be straight. I'd ask you to reflect on what happened when you look at, uh, when you look at this question time later on as to uh, whether that sort of approach from that Minister should be allowed. Order, I, I listened very carefully and uh, the first three supplementary questions were very straight and very directly answered. The fourth supplementary implied a criticism and unless I misheard uh, the, it implied a criticism and the minister's response was not, not totally out of, out of, uh, out of order. Uh, but I, I accept that, uh, you know, that it was on the, on the margins. But then, you know, there's got to be a bit of give and take during question time. Earlier on in question time, if the member reflects back, the opposition was making a lot of noise and, and making a lot of interjections that were causing disruption. And I've got to, I can't be too hard on one side of the House or, and not hard on the other side of the House. And I believe on balance that question was reasonably answered. Point of order, Mr. Point, point, of, point of order, the Honourable Chairman. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my, my memory was that the question was essentially, um, does she have the capacity to fund, or how does she propose to fund, given the documents show that her ministry struggled to find $700 million? I, don't th I think that is a straight order, question, order, not, 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 a, not, not one which implies I a will, criticism of the minister. I will undertake to look at it, because that was not my recollection of the exact wording, and I'll, I'll undertake to look at it indeed. Question number 10, Holly Walker.